Okay, as promised, the top 20. Well, you know what? I tried to get to top 20 or top 30. I just went through and I pulled up those records that, you know, you can't live without. And it ended up to be about 10% uh, of the record collection. It's about 100 records here. And uh, these, all these records, I've listened to them all over and over and over umpteen times. And you never get tired of these records. They're just phenomenal. Um, we'll start off with way that there's not in any particular order. Particular order is that it started off with some jazz, and then we went through and we pulled out the Z and it went through alphabetically up to up to A at the end. So that's but it's not in any particular uh, number one best record or anything. These are all number one almost records in my opinion. Chikoria, Return to Forever, Light as a Feather. Bob James 1, and that Bob James 2 again is really good as well. Gabor Zabo, Miserab, and that last name is spelled S-Z-A-B-O. Really good record there. Patricia Barber, Nightclub, on the Premonition label. And we have Jazz at the Pawn Shop. Again, that's probably uh, known as the quintessential best sounding record ever made kind of thing. This is a really phenomenal record here for audio quality. And we have Andreas Bullenweeder, Down to the Moon. Great record there. Mo Kaufman, Solar Explorations. Again, that's uh, like a big kind of a big band record, a lot of horns in it. Diodato Whirlwinds. The first Stanley Clark LP, phenomenal. Billy Cobham, Total Eclipse. And Billy Cobham, Spectrum. Boy, I love those records. Diodato Prelude. And then my two favorite uh, Frank Zappa records is Apostrophe and Overnight Sensation. I think I know those records by heart. And then Dr. Z, Three Parts to My Soul. That's a great record for night. You turn the lights off and listen to that. That is a fantastic. That one side in particular is really good. Dre's Ombres, ZZ Top. And of all the Neil Young runs, this is my favorite. Are You Passionate? Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Deja Vu. If, not, if that's not on your 10 top list, there's something wrong. Now, uh, Yes, Fragile, great record. This is a rare one here, but great guitar work, The Human Instinct. That's where I like a lot of these records. I really like guitar work, so a lot of these records are going to share in common great guitar work. Johnny Winter, Still Alive and Well. And then we've got the Edgar Winter Group. They only come out at night. And as far as trying to pick a Stevie, Va Stevie Ray Vaughan record, I just decided to pick the live record. It's got a lot of those good hits on there. And the Who, same thing. I just got the best of them. They have so many great, great songs. And Vanagraph Generator, the least we can do is wave to each other. Like in my last uh, video, before I was, I think it's number 9 or 10, I was doing a comparison of these three pressings of this. And, you know, this record, I bought it in 1972. So what's that, 40, 42 years or whatever. I've been listening to this record. And it still, it still gave me goosebumps listening to one song and listening to Peter Himmel singing. And it's just, it's so awesome. These, are, these are old records like this are like old friends. You go to them, you listen to them, stuff you've heard for years, and you go back to them and it's, they, they never get old. The Wizards from Kansas, great record. You too, the Joshua Tree. Now here's Jethro Tull. Of course, he's got so many records up, but it's hard to pick. But I've, I've narrowed it down to four. A Passion Play, I really love that record. Rock Island, fantastic. And then, of course, you'll never guess what the next two are. Yeah, Thick as a Brick and Aqualong. Those are all phenomenal records. Robin Trower, Bridge of Sighs. 
Illusions on a Double Dimple by Triumphal Rat. That's a fantastic record too. Ten Years After, Space and Time. To me, that's the best Ten Years After record right there. T-Rex, The Slider. And we've got T for the Tillerman by Cat Stevens. Next up, Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. Donald Fagan, The Nightfly. Then Steely Dan, Can't Buy a Thrill. Steely Dan, Countdown to Ecstasy. Steely Dan, Pretzel Logic. And Steely Dan, The Royal Scam. Boy, those are all so, such great records. Then Leonard Skinner, the best one for me, is Street Survivor. Then a really good sounding record here, Simply Red, Picture Book. And then as you can tell, one another one of my favorite groups, Roxy Music, this is Siren, Stranded, Avalon, Country Life, those are all great. Rush Power Windows. There's so many good Rush records. I just pulled this one. And then Santana. I just I just thought his first three are the best. Santana three, the first Santana, and Abraxas, which of course was the second one. I love those three Santana records. The Rolling Stones, that's another hard one to pick. How many Rolling, great Rolling Stones records are there? Well, you know, Let It Bleep, I think, is my favorite. And then Some Girls. I really love Some Girls as well. And then, of course, their greatest hits. I love all that old stuff, too. And then Pink Floyd. The two, my two favorite Pink Floyd are Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here. Then Ted Nugent. Stranglehold and Nirvana, Nevermind, Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine, Van Morrison, Moon Dance, and there's a lot of good Moody Booze records, but I like this one, The Days of Future Past, because this is the one with uh, Nights in White Satins on it and Tuesday Afternoon. That's my, about my two favorite songs, so pick that one out. And then uh, Joni Mitchell, Court and Spark. May Blitz, the first one. Well, I think it's actually the second one. Man for Man's Earth Band, Solar Fire. Love Forever Changes. Led Zeppelin, four, and Led Zeppelin, two. And then King Crimson, in the Court of the Kin Crimson King. The Kinks, Low Budget, and Misfits. Boy, you know, I was just listening to this again, again today, and it's got that song on there about there's a guy in my block and he lives for rock. He just listens to records day and night. Yeah, that's me. I was just loving that song, playing that today. Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Jade Warrior, Released. Iron Butterfly, Nagata De Vida. In Excess. Shabu Shabu, this is a great record right here. And then of course it's kind of hard to pick Jimi Hendrix record. So many good ones, but I think this is Axis Bold to Love, I think that's probably my favorite. Hawkwind, Do Re Mi, Fa Sol La Ki Do. That's a great record. 
And then uh, Alex Harvey Band, The Impossible Dream. And of course, the first one from that sensational Alex Harvey Band is Framed. That's another top five record there. The Best of the Guess Who. This one here has got all those great Guess Who, old Guess Who songs on it. Closer to Home by Grand Funk, Railroad. Golden Earring Moon Tan. Genesis, Selling England by the Pound. Selling England by the Pound. What a fantastic, that's the best Genesis by far right there. And this uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, there's one side on this. Boy, it really sounds great on the stereo. It's got a lot of it. It sounds fantastic. Good, good pressing. That's the, uh, actually a Canadian pressing. And then Tarkus by uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. It's probably my favorite one. The other ones are all good, but this is just a little bit better. And the guests like the Doors, same type of thing. I liked all the Doors records, except I think L.A. Woman's just a little bit above the rest. Love it. And uh, the first three, four uh, Doobie Brother records are good, but I picked the Captain and Me. And then for all the Depeche Mode stuff, Ultra, Songs of Faith and Devotion, and Violator, those three. Yeah, I've listened to them over and over again. Love them. Deep Purple Machine Head. Curved Air, Air Cut. Cowboy Junkies. Black Eyed Man. And then for Alice Cooper, I decided on Love It to Death. I thought that was the one that stood out a little bit better than the others. Then from the Leonard Cohen's LPs, I've got 10 new songs and various positions. Those are my two favorite Leonard Cohen records. Then Captain Beyond, the first one. That's another top five record there of all time. Camel Mirage. Love that one too. And then we get to the David Bowie. I love David Bowie, so I've got Diamond Dogs. The Man Who Sold the World, Aladdin Sane, and of course we've got to have Ziggy Stardust in there too. In the first Boston LP, that's really good. Blue Oyster Cult Secret Treaties, Blue Oyster Cult Tyranny and Mutation, and Blue Oyster Cult, the first LP, self-titled. Phenomenal guitar work on these things. Great songs. Black Sabbath, the first one. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath by Black Sabbath. And Black Sabbath, Paranoid. If you've got those three, and that's all you've got, you'll be happy. Those are the best three. Then we're into Beggar's Opera. It's a great record there by Beggar's Opera. And then I've got uh, a Beatles and uh, Abbey Road and the White LP. Then a little Paul McCartney here. McCartney first LP. Band on the Run. Ram. Those are three great LPs right there by Paul McCartney. And then again, another one of those top five LPs of all time. Audience, The House on the Hill. April Wine, Stand Back. Allison Chains, the unplugged version that's on MTV. And then... Like I said, it's kind of hard to pick a Jimi Hendrix, so I just decided to get this big old like six LP box set out. Man, it's got all kinds of great songs on here. It covers all this, all the stuff, so that about covers the Jimi Hendrix. And then I've got a couple honorable mentions here, a couple newer newer type thing. Uh, Incubus, Morning View, and uh, Porcupine Tree, Fear of a Blank Planet. 
I really like those records. I think they're pretty good. And then again, the Beatles. This is the new Beatle box. And uh, yeah, all those records are great. So that's going to conclude the, uh, the top 100 in my collection. I hope you enjoyed it.